Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about prompt chaining. Now, prompt chaining is a technique where we take the output of one chain and we use it as the input to another chain or workflow. And it allows us to create these really sophisticated and complex applications that require multi steps or processes to work. And so, in this video, we're going to introduce you to prompt chains. And we're also going to show you how we created a, a mid journey prompt generator for a character creator and storyline app. But before we do that, if you'd like to learn more about Flowwise, my brand new mini course, Chain Node Mastery, is now available. Now, this covers all of the 12 primary chain nodes inside of Flowwise. And chain nodes are the building blocks that allows you to build all types of AI applications, uh, from rag based applications to uh, applications that can use databases and many, many more. So, if you like to learn more about this, you can click on the link in the description and you'll be able to see uh, everything that comes with the course as well as a, a preview video uh, for the course. So be sure to go check it out. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do with prompt chaining. Now, like I said, with prompt chaining, we're taking the outputs of one chain and we're using it to create the inputs to another chain. Now, some of the benefits that prompt chaining is that it allows us to break up our prompt into um, multiple steps so that the AI can actually focus on one step at a time. And oftentimes I find that when you do that, uh, you get way better results because the AI is actually able to focus on one particular task. So for this particular application, we are creating a uh, mid journey prompt generator. And what we're doing is we're giving the AI a simple prompt, for example, an, an occupation or a type of character and then what the AI is going to do is it's going to create a profile for that character. It's going to create a scene for that character. And then finally, it's going to create a mid journey prompt that describes that character within that scene. And if we take a look at the, um, the chat history, you can see how this basically works. So if we go all the way to the top, um, one of the first prompts we had was a Mars astronaut. And this is the uh, this is the final output that we get. It is a mid journey prompt that has a template to it uh, so we can get the best results. If We go ahead and scroll down. We can see we have a variety of prompts that we've used. Uh, Deep sea diver. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Caribbean pirate. Uh, and then if we go ahead and actually check out uh, what those prompts look like within mid journey, uh, you can see that these are all um, these are all the prompts uh, that uh, we use to generate uh, these various images. Okay. And so this is a great way to basically create uh, these very rich prompts, or at least for this application. Uh, but if you also have like a, a process that you need to go through multiple steps, uh, you can use this as well. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at how we actually created this uh, within Flowwise. So if we go ahead and we look at the entire workflow, you can see that uh, we basically have uh, three different chains that we've connected together. And as I said before, in the first chain, what we're doing is we're creating the character profile that's going to go into the, uh, the final output. And so if we take a look at what that looks like, we're basically just using a prompt template. And in this case, um, we're telling the AI that uh, the AI is a fiction writer, and we want it to create a name and detailed profile background given the character's uh, occupation that we provide. So again, it could be fighter pilot, it could be, uh, you know, warrior, it could be, you know, whatever you can imagine. And then uh, we're also asking it to please include where this character comes from, any special abilities, and then what their quest or mission is. Okay, and so here you can see the, um, the variable for the occupation. Uh, this would be the question uh, prompt, essentially. Uh, and then what we do is we take that information, and then we, we run the LLM call, and then we pass it into the next prompt template. And that prompt template, we're creating uh, basically the scene. Uh, and this is a very simple prompt, you know, based on the following character information uh, from the previous node. Describe an illustrated scene or a setting in which we find our character. Be descriptive about the lighting, the time of day, where our character's at, and so on, and what they're doing. Uh, and again, this allows us to really build up the scene layer by layer. So you have your character and their profile, their background in the first um, 
step, step one, and then step two, uh, sort of where they're at and what they're doing. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the final prompt. And this is where we actually create our mid journey, uh, our mid journey prompt. So it says you are a mid journey artist and prompting expert based on the following character information and environment, create a detailed mid journey prompt that best describes uh, the art style, the character, the environment, the lighting and the camera angle. When I was doing this previously, um, I would basically get a lot of um, a lot of prompts that were very different from each other. And because I want to create a consistent style, uh, even if the even if the character and you know and the scenery is different, I want to get the most out of Mid Journey. So what I did was I basically used a, a template to do this. Uh, and so for every single um, input that this particular prompt receives, it's going to give me an output based on this template. And you can also do this for your prompts as well, especially if you need uh, like more of a structured output. Uh, this is really, really helpful. And as long as you have a LLM that is you know, capable of, of handling these types of inputs, um, you should be able to get more consistent results. So this technique works really, really well. And especially for Mid Journey, it actually has created some really, really interesting images um, that are, can be very, very creative and can create a lot more than what you might have been able to do um, initially by yourself, or at least for me anyway. So uh, if we go ahead and we take a look at the, uh, the prompt chain a little bit more. Now, when you're working your prompt chains, there's a few things that you wanna consider. Now, you wanna make sure that when you're passing the data from one chain to the next, you wanna make sure that you format your prompt values. Uh, this is going to allow uh, the chatbot or your workflow to identify uh, the data that you're actually passing from one chain to the next. So when you do that, what you want to do is you want to click on the format prompt values uh, button. And then this is your, um, this is the variable that you're using, uh, that you're passing in, and you want to make sure that it references the correct, um, the correct data from the previous node. Uh, and so in this case, uh, the scene information is being referenced from uh, the previous node. So you can go ahead and you can actually go ahead and, you know, just by clicking on this, you can see exactly, you know, you can choose uh, the input that you want. And in this case, it was the uh, character profile. Um, and so another thing that you want to do is you want to be able to test your chains uh, at every step. So in this case, we have all three that are connected. But as you're building your chain, you obviously want to test to see what the, the outputs are so that you can make sure that you're getting uh, consistent results. And the probably the easiest way to do this is just to do it within Flowwise and to see what the results are. But what you can also do is you can use a tool like Langsmith uh, to do tracing to find out exactly how the input is being passed or how the output is being passed uh, to the next inputs. And if we go ahead and we take a look at that, we can find that um, this is our character creator here. Uh, we can find that for one of our one of our calls, you can see that it you can see that it's showing us the first step, which is the profile, right? It's giving us the character name um, and background, and then it's also passing the scene information uh, from step two, and then finally with all of these, you get the output. Uh, which is the mid journey prompt. And so using a tool like Langsmith is a great way to basically check to see exactly what is happening <laughs> with your um, with your chains. And so, um, yeah, so this is prompt chaining. Uh, this is the basics of prompt chaining. And, uh, and like I said, it allows you to create some really interesting and complex workflows uh, that can help you with your AI applications. And so in the next video uh, in this series, we're going to take prompt chaining to the next level and we're going to create a product recommendation engine for an e-commerce store. So I will see you in the next video.